Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another Tesla vlog with me, Adam Well Informed. You may have noticed that my posting recently has been just over a week for the last couple of videos. I had a bit of a shock in my personal life that I would rather not share or seek sympathy, but I thought you deserve to know some of the reasons and to reassure you that the upload schedule will return to weekly. You will hopefully be pleased to hear I've still got loads of topics lined up to record and some video ideas are literally gifted to you on the way, like this video. So Tesla offered a free enhanced autopilot trial to selected Model 3 owners in the UK. It'd be rude to turn down such an offer for a free £3,400 update. With the current restrictions on our personal lives at the moment, I've not had the ability to test it thoroughly, but nonetheless, I've still had a good go at it and enough to get my own opinion on enhanced autopilot, even full self-driving. So if you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you're probably aware that an optional upgrade is the full self-driving package, but from time to time, Tesla tees you with a leaner, cheaper carrot of the same package called Enhanced Autopilot. It's a cheaper alternative to the FSD package, but its future capabilities are more limited as a result. To make matters even more confusing, you get Autopilot as standard, which again is even more limited than Enhanced Autopilot, but totally free. Ty Adam here went for the free autopilot, didn't he? If this FSD enhanced autopilot autopilot malarkey is disconfusing, let me give you a quick breakdown of what they do and the differences, then I'll give you my impressions on enhanced autopilot. So autopilot by Tesla enables your car to steer, accelerate and brake automatically within its lane, which sounds amazing, but hold your horses. Autopilot is heavily aimed at motorway or highway driving here in the UK. For other types of roads and city driving, this is not yet available, but is promised with the full self-driving package, priced at $6,400 or $10,000. So how do you get that FSD upgrade? Well, there's no time limit, you can purchase it at any time, whether that's at purchase or at any time during ownership via the app. Elon Musk has even promised a monthly subscription service in Q2 of 2021, but unfortunately we don't know any details of what that means but I suspect it will be a month-to-month -month thing, cancel at any time, be more expensive than a lump sum option over a period of time. To make this possible, every Tesla Model 3 and Y that rolls off the production line will now come with the advanced hardware capable of providing the autopilot features of today, but crucially, the full self-driving capabilities of the future. Some of the older Teslas may need a hardware upgrade to utilize the FSD of tomorrow as a result. Ultimately, the hardware of a truly autonomous car is supposedly in the car. This hardware is a computer unit, multiple cameras to deliver a 360 degree view, backed up by radar sensors. But what's even more impressive is that all the autopilot packages will only get better, just like your smartphone, by utilizing the over-air updates. Therefore, regular updates are designed to improve and introduce new functionalities over time. So what's Enhanced Autopilot then? So Enhanced Autopilot is the software package in between the standard free autopilot and the full self driving package. It usually costs 3400 but Tesla kindly gifted some of us in the UK with a free trial period of 14 days. I think it was a random selection of people with the free standard autopilot package like me. So I thought it'd be rude not to try and fully flex some of these features that I hadn't tried. These features were navigate on autopilot, including active guidance from highway on ramp to off ramp, auto lane change so your car will change lanes on the motorway or highway, auto park for parallel and bay parking, summon to retrieve your car using your smartphone. Now this one reminds me of that James Bond film, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies, and he controls his BMW with his phone. But... Look who's making that a reality. So to recap on the standard free autopilot, my car can steer, accelerate and brake automatically, but in its own lane only. Enhanced autopilot does all of the above. Also important to note here is the capability of each feature is different depending on your location. There is one major factor for that, and that's regulation. The variety of different regulations across different countries means some features are limited compared to different countries. So I'm currently in the UK and what I'm going to show you is mainly UK based. But one thing you need to remember is regulations can change and we have over the air updates. So if you see the latest version of the FSD beta from the 1000 or so beta testers in the US, the depth of the features is really breathtaking, but could make its way here once the regulations allow it. 
So now I've broken this down to give you a general understanding of the topic. It's time to get stuck in and show you some of these features and what my initial impressions are and if it's worth buying Enhanced Autopilot in the UK. So before I do that, please can you remember to support my channel by hitting the like, the subscribe button and the notification bell. Such a quick gesture really helps me out if you enjoy Tesla content. First feature I want to show you is Summon. There's two parts to Summon. There's Summon and Smart Summon. Summon will allow you to move your car forwards and backwards simply by pressing and holding the forward and backwards function on your phone via the Tesla app. Very easy to use, idiot proof in fact. There's some settings in the car that you can amend to suit your style more if you wanted, but the system is not perfect. It stumbles half the time and it's very sensitive to where you're located. You need to be within five to six meters for it to work or it will refuse to work or just disconnect. I did like how the mirrors automatically shut whenever summon is activated but this brings me to where I think who use this feature the most and that's probably for tight driveways or parking spots. All you need to do is whip out your phone and summon and the car can back itself out so you can get into your car with no compromises of entry. The second part of summon is smart summon. This feature is much more capable in the US but here in the UK it's usable at that. So instead of going forward and back, it will pick you up at a different destination. So literally summoning your vehicle for pickup. This would be really great when you go to Ikea. You know that point where you get all your stuff and you need to get to your car to go to the pickup bay for loading. But here in the UK, you're limited to a range of about six meters. So it's literally pointless here, but it's a great party trick. In the US, I've seen videos of it moving from a parking bay to a storefront. Great for them rainy days, I think. So navigating on autopilot and auto lane change. So these are the standard features of the enhanced autopilot package. So with navigate on autopilot, we can use this for on and off ramp and it should guide you onto the motorway. But as you can see from my video footage, it's just took too long to move over for my liking. Now, this was my one and only attempt with it, but based on that, it's easier to do it myself. I think you can change the settings to Mad Max mode and it'll probably move you across faster, but I just didn't have time to try it that one time. Moving on to auto lane change, which is probably the most useful feature of Enhanced Autopilot and FSD in the UK at present. Standard Autopilot is great, it really is, but auto lane change is where the convenience is. The car should overtake slow cars, however, to speed up matters for the car and for you, I requested these lane changes. Before the car will change lanes, you need to steer in to approve every lane change that you do. Now this is a regulatory requirement. Now this is a regulatory thing as EAP and FSD is not like that in the US. I also need to indicate as not only is that the legal thing to do, the car wants to know what you're doing as well. As you can see from the footage, it is doable and doesn't take that long to do. I just had a little wobble on the steering to confirm, but I think it's just knowing how much pressure to apply. Once you've mastered the technique, it's a great little system to have as the car will also slow based on the car in front like adaptive cruise control and move over if the slow speed persists. Another thing to point out is that you can't change lanes on any of the roads apart from a motorway. I did try it, but it just wouldn't have it. So this is designed for motorway driving rather than city driving. Again, there are a couple of settings to adapt to your liking. My favorite being the Mad Max feature, meaning it would dive into lanes quicker once you've confirmed it. But just for your reference, I was doing all of these experiments on the normal settings. Auto park. So this should do bay parks and parallel parks, but it just never wanted to do it for me. It, it refused point blank to even give me the option. I tried across two different nights in different places, but it really did not want to play. If you know how to initiate it, or whether I'm missing a setting or something, please, please let me know in the comments below, as I'd love to know what I was doing wrong. If you want to see this, I'm going to link you to another YouTuber in the comments. I found him recently and I quite like his UK FSD coverage, so I think it's worth taking a look if you want to see the auto park feature. Watching his videos, it seems quicker to actually park yourself, but it's probably a useful feature if you do lack the confidence in doing parallel parks or bay parks. So is it worth it? For £3,400, you're primarily paying that for the auto lane change feature. You may use some from time to time and have genuine reasons for its purpose. But really, it's all about the auto lane change. It operates really well on the motorway. Just like standard autopilot, it will not handle roundabouts, traffic lights, or sharp corners. 
but at present autopilot is aimed for motorway usage only so I really can't grumble about that. One thing to note about autopilot in general is that you can experience what they call phantom braking which is where the car will apply its brakes if it gets spooked by something. Most likely occurrence of this will be lorries on the opposite side of the road if they enter your lane a little or even the shadows at times can spook the system. I've been lucky and had one or two experience of it but not during the recording it's something the whole community will have their own experiences and opinions on so I will say progress has been made on this but others will may disagree with that. Moral of the story is be ready to take control at any time this isn't a fully autonomous car yet but more semi dependent like system. Overall I think the enhanced autopilot package is a valid purchase if you put the miles in on the motorway. It really does take some stress off the driving, probably more so on the longer drives as well. But if you're like me and you're working from home and do very, very little motorway driving, then the free standard autopilot does just fine. You may not get the auto lane change feature, but you know, you just have to do a bit of manual work and change the lane yourself and then switch the autopilot back on. If your motorway usage is high, then enhanced autopilot is probably a valid purchase just for that feature alone. It's also worth mentioning the, the enhanced autopilot tends to disappear and then reappear at the end of financial quarters. So there's a chance you may not be able to purchase it um, if you don't pull the trigger at that time. But then that leaves you with one more question. So why wouldn't you go up to FSD? Well, let's cover and conclude that too. So FSD and Enhanced Autopilot conclusions. So FSD currently has the same features as, as Enhanced Autopilot, but costs significantly more at $6,400 or $10,000. The core difference, apart from cost, is purely for the ability to have a self-driving car over the next few years. So if you're not already aware, the US has a small beta pool of around 1,000 drivers that have the latest city self-driving package. Some actually display their coverage uh, over YouTube, which is well worth watching. This is obtaining real life data and software updates are pushed frequently to them to improve the experience significantly. I've seen video footage of it driving on roads with no markings and using junctions just fine. It really does just give you a taste of what's to come. So once the regulations permit it here in the UK, we should, we should be expecting to get something very similar to this. And at some point with the main ambition to roll out an autonomous network of taxis so your car could make you money while you sleep and it could really shake up the whole taxi and car ownership industry so really you're just buying into that potential access into turning your car into a fully autonomous car if that isn't your thing then enhanced autopilot will suffice for you if that's to your taste you even need to fork up the amount up front or take advantage of the upcoming fsd monthly subscription instead it's also worth noting that as the system proves its ability to be fully autonomous, the price of FSD has and will continue to increase rapidly with just a few days notice at a time. Just a thought, would having a video on different robo-taxi situations and its potential repercussions be of interest to you? Let me know what you think in the comments below and if it is, I'll do some research and do an actual video on the topic. That's it, now you've been informed. Let me know what you thought of this video, has it made you reconsider or even secure Enhanced Autopilot? Don't forget to support my channel by hitting the like, subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. I really enjoy doing these Tesla vlogs and the support is always hugely welcomed. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.